Hello PTCB candidates, this is Zita Schmidt with another tutorial from PTCB Math Review. This time I'm going to cover all the formulas that you need to know on concentrations and dilutions and you will learn how to use each one and when to use them. In this tutorial we will cover three formulas. There are a few formulas out there that could be used to solve problems related to concentrations and dilutions. The most commonly taught are allegations or tic-tac-toe method, old volume times old strength equals new volume times new strength, volume needed times percent half equals volume prescribed times percent want, Initial volume times initial strength equals final volume times final strength and solution mixture. The good news is that you only need the following three. Allegations or tic-tac-toe. Old volume times old strength equals new volume times new strength. And the solution mixture formula. Because the following three are the same formula with different wording. So you can say goodbye to these two, the ones in red. The only formulas you will need when asked to mix two different strengths or to dilute are the following three. Now that we have narrowed the memorizing down to three formulas, you will need to know when to use them. So here is a thought process you will need in order to decide which of the three formulas to use. Is it a dilution? Is it asking for one volume or two? Is it asking for an initial or final volume? Is it asking for an initial or final strength? These questions will help you choose the correct formula. The first of the three formulas is the allegation formula. Uh, to learn how to use it, I would suggest that you watch the YouTube video that is on allegations by itself. The only thing I would like to add to this allegations formula review is that the X is equal to how many parts of the high percent solution you need and that Y is equal to how many parts of the low percent solution you need. When you add X plus Y you get the total amount of parts and this will come in handy later. I will cover um, how to find a ratio strength. So use this formula when you are mixing two different strengths to make a third strength and you need to find the two initial volumes. The key thing to remember here is if in the problem they are asking you to find out what the two initial volumes are then it's a sure thing that you're going to be using the allegations formula. You can also use this formula when you are diluting with water or plain sludge one strength to make a third strength and you need to find the two initial volumes. So key thing to remember again with allegations you know for sure you're going to use this formula when they are asking you to find the two initial volumes. But for dilutions, when you're diluting with water or plain sludge, you can also use allegations. The allegations formula can also be used to find the ratio strength of a final solution in the following scenario. So let's say they tell you that you are to mix a 70% solution with a 50% solution to make a 40% solution. You don't know the two initial volumes. So in order to solve for the two initial volumes you would still have to use allegations formula. So once you find your X and your Y, in this case for example the X is 10 and the Y is 30. So step one, you add x plus y. 10 plus 30 is equal to 40. Step two, set up a fraction using x and the total parts, which in this case is 10 over 40. 40 is 
equal to the total parts. Step 3. Reduce the fraction to lowest terms. So you know how to reduce. So 10 divided by 10, by 10 is 1. 40 divided by 10 is 4. So you get 1 over 4. Step 4. Rewrite as a ratio. So you would write it as 1 to 4. Step 5. Your answer. The ratio strength is 1 to 4. The second formula is the percent solution formula, which is old volume times old strength is equal to new volume times the new strength. Use this formula when you are diluting one strength to make a second strength, and you need to find either the old or new strength or the old or new volume. You would get from the problem three out of four values. So to compare this one with allegations, you will know when to use either of the two because with allegations, you are looking for both initial volumes. You can use either one when you are diluting, but the key thing to remember is allegations is you're looking for both initial volumes. With this one, you, are only, you will be looking for either of the four values. The third one is the solutions mixture formula. I will not go over how to use it, but only when to use it. If you need to review that, please go to the other YouTube video on solutions mixture and it would help you understand it better. Use this formula when you are mixing two different strengths to make a third strength, and you need to find any of the strengths or the final volume. If you were looking for the initial volumes, you could use the allegation formula. You would get from the problem five out of six values. So in comparing this one with the previous formula, the last one you were diluting. So you were mixing, yes, two initial solutions. One was water and the other one was a strength. In this case, both initial solutions are different strengths, which means that they have both have a value. And you are making a third solution. This is how you will be able to determine whether to use this formula or the percent solution formula. Okay, so now that we covered all three, remember the thought process I talked to you about earlier? Well, here is how to decide. Is it a dilution? If it is a dilution, meaning you are diluting with water, then you can use either the percent solution formula or allegations. But you need to ask yourself, is it asking for one volume or two? If it is asking for the two initial volumes, then use allegations, even if you are diluting. Is it asking for an initial or final volume in a diluting problem? If it is asking for only one of the volumes, either old or new, then use the percent solution formula. Is it asking for an old or new strength? Definitely use the percent solution formula. Is it asking for an initial or final strength and it is not a dilution problem? Then use the solutions mixture formula. This is how you choose the correct formula. So to recap, you would need to follow the following steps. Step one, identify what is given in the problem. So identify what are the values that they give you in the problem. Step two, identify what is the unknown, which is basically what are they asking for? What is the question? Step three, 
Are you looking for any of the following? Are you looking for both initial volumes? If that's the case, use allegations. Are you looking for a racial strength and it looks like you would need to use um, allegations? Then yes, use allegations because with allegations you can find the racial strength as I gave you an example earlier. Are you looking for either an initial volume, initial strength, final volume, or final strength in a problem where you are diluting? Well, then use the old volume times old strength equals to new volume times new strength. When you are mixing two different strengths and you are asked to find either of the old volumes, either of the two old strengths, or the new volume, or the new strength, then you use the old volume 1 times old strength 1 plus old volume 2 times old strength 2 is equal to new volume times new strength. Well, my friends, I hope that this is helpful for you. And as usual, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me and I can help you with any of the problems that you may encounter. Also, uh, don't forget to rate my video and also to subscribe because I will continue to put up more videos. Thanks a lot and more news to come. Bye!